Hey everyone, it's Tom, WA2IVD. Welcome to number 32 in our IC7300 from A to Z series. I'm still continuing to catch up with some of the small bits that have been passed over in some of the other episodes. This time we're going to take a look at the beep functions, the level settings and other options for them. Let's get started. Let's take a look at the various beep level settings in the functions menu. So you're going to get to that with the menu button, and then you're going to go to set, and then you're going to go to function. And there on the first page, so you've got beep level, beep level limit, beep confirmation, and bandage beep. So level, let's start with that, is pretty straightforward. You can use the multi-function knob, and there you can hear. You're going to have to listen to this through the speaker, I'm afraid, because the volume control knob does not adjust what goes out to the mixer. So, and a couple of these are affected by the volume control. So, if we go all the way up, that's pretty loud, and it gets softer and obviously goes to zero. So, pretty straightforward there. We're going to leave that at 50. The beep level limit. The default is on, and I'm going to change it to off. And what that does, and then actually, let's go back up, and I'll turn this up to 100%. And you hear the beep is pretty loud. So as I turn the volume knob up, the, the beep gets really, really loud. And if I go back to mid-level, that seems to be sort of what I'll call the normal sound. What the beep level limit does is, if we go and turn that back on, once I limit it, then even if I turn the volume knob all the way up, uh, the beep level doesn't really, it'll get softer once I start going below here. You know, you may or may not hear this on the video now, but it gets very soft. But once you get about halfway or so, that's as loud as the beep gets. So if I continue to turn the volume up now, let me just uh, desquelch this. You know, the, vo the full range of volume is available, obviously, for rig audio, but it just stops how loud the beeps get. Um, again, just a personal preference item. Not uh, Some of you may find it valuable, some of you may not. Beep confirmation, again, very straightforward. Off is we don't get any beeps for anything. You see they've all gone away. So if I turn that back on, then we now get beeps. So, And then the band edge beep, the default is just on, and I'll talk about the user and transmit limits um, in a second here. If I leave it at the default, what you get, and uh, I've got the tuning set to a little higher speed here. So we're on 40 meters. Once I get up to the edge of the band, you get a low beep when you go out of your band and a high beep when you come back in. And that's at both ends. And obviously, if I turn it off, guess what? We're not going to get that. So you can... Go out of band and you get no indication. Now, the um, user is, if you recall, in one of the earlier episodes, and I don't have that number here, but it'll be showing up on the bottom of your screen, I talked about setting user band edges so that if you wanted to set limits for, say, the general portion of uh, the 40-meter band or 20-meter band, uh, if you set those user limits, then if you set this to user, it will beep for the user limits. It still beeps for the transmit limits, although I may actually have a user limit set to the same, so I need to double check that. Um, and then the last function is user and transmit limit. So if I had user functions set in the narrower portion of the band, but it would still allow you to transmit, 
then you get both of those. And I think the reason it was just beeping at the bandages is because I have a user bandage limit set to be the same as the transmit limits. So transmit limits is where the rig won't let you transmit. If you're outside of amateur bands entirely, uh, you're going to get a beep there. And um, you're going to get that when it's in the on or on and TX limit. And if you have it, uh, sorry, on this screen, on and TX limit on. And then the user ones should just beep at user-defined band limits. And I'm going to put mine back to on, which is the default. That covers it for the beep options. As this series on the 7300 starts to wind down, I'm looking for some feedback from all of you. I plan to work on more general ham radio and technology related videos. I'm also considering starting a similar A to Z series covering another radio that I have, the ICOM IC7100. I'd be very interested in knowing how many of you would find that useful. There's a link for a SurveyMonkey survey in this video's description along with the link to the earlier video covering user band edges. You can also just leave me a comment with your interest. In addition to the interest on the 7100, I'm also interested in your thoughts or ideas for any specific topics that you'd like to see in future videos. And of course, I'm happy to see your comments, corrections, or ideas about this video. As always, thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please click on the like button. If you're finding this channel useful, please consider subscribing. One way to do that is to click on the pop-up icon at the lower right near the end of this video. I'm Tom, WA2IVD, and this is Ham Cured Smoke.